setting up a Facebook fan page for your store. Okay. So first thing you're going to have to do right here is, um, is your store a general store or a niche store? And store. But that's the first thing you want to determine. Is it a general store or is it a niche store when you're building your fan page? Okay. The second thing you're going to want to consider is, or consider is this. Um, you can create unlimited fan pages, but not too fast. Um, Facebook um, will stop you if you are going too fast. They will put you in what we call Facebook jail. It's not really a real thing, but it kind of is. Facebook jail and block your account. Okay? So you need to consider that this can take weeks sometimes to get back to creating pages. Okay, um, then we're going to put block your uh, page creation account or page management, page manager account. It's not like they're going to block your personal Facebook, but listen, there's a general rule of thumb when it comes to Facebook. Don't go too fast. Okay, if you go too fast on Facebook, uh, Facebook has to do their best. Um, let me like write this down. Like Facebook has to identify if computer programs are being used or if it's a real person. So don't go too fast or you look like a bot. You look like a computer. So what I mean is like don't go creating like 10 pages a day. Okay? Could just create them as needed and you should be fine. I have hundreds and hundreds of pages. So again, you can create unlimited pages. And there's a couple uh, rules of thumb here we want to do as well. Okay, uh, rules of thumb. Um, general store should be one one fan page. Each niche store have their own fan page. Okay? Combine fan pages by niche topic as specific as you want. What this means is that when you're building out fan pages, you might have like two Shopify stores that are maybe both related to dogs. Okay, maybe you have one for pit bulls and one for Rottweilers. Maybe you're getting very, very niche specific. One for pit bulls, one for Rottweilers. So they're both having to do with dogs. But you might only need one Facebook fan page that says, like, I love dogs or I love big dogs or whatever it is. You might have one fan page about dogs. So you're really looking to kind of break combined fan pages by niche topic. Okay? Another one you want to do here is you want to reverse engineer by looking at other fan pages first. Okay? Find good fan pages to model after. So there's a few different ways to be able to do this. So let's go over here to Facebook. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here when you go over to Facebook is you want to start looking at, do some research and start looking at some fan pages. So let's just go in here and say like dog lovers. Okay, dog lover. And you'll notice there's different things that get pulled up here, right? You got some search results, then you've got like some groups, you know, communities, da 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 da, da community, community, then you got um, Website, community, da, da, da. So just go down here. See all results for Dog Lover. And you'll notice that you can see all kinds of stuff. You can see pages. You can see photos. You can see places, groups. What you're really looking for is pages. Okay? So you can either click See More or you can go up here to Pages. It doesn't really matter. And so now what it's doing is you typed in the word Dog Lover and it's bringing up a lot of relevant pages. Now there's lots and lots of ways to do research. I'm just showing you a couple. Um, I don't think we have hours to show you all the different ways to do research. But what you're essentially looking for is you're, you're really just kind of looking for um, a page really where people are selling something or at least branding very, very well. So you can kind of go through. Um, let's, just, let's just go through and look at a lot of these four examples, okay? Let's just look at these four right here. And you'll be able to tell, are these like general community pages? Are these people that are trying to sell something? So let's kind of glance around and let's look at it. So right here, they've got a, a profile picture and a cover photo. This is the general makeup of a page. You've got a name a profile picture, a cover photo, and then if you want, you can even get your own like shortcut link. So this one is facebook.com slash i.love.dogs.in. Okay? Um, and they're from Seattle, Washington. You know, you can see kind of all this kind of stuff. They've got videos that they're posting here. They've got posts. And so you can kind of look through. You can kind of start to see a little bit about them, okay? They've, they've got a lot of fans. Click to help Sandy. So um, they've got some links that they're kind of posting about. Um, it looks like they're really like supporting like dogs that have been abandoned. Um, 
you know, maybe they're really, they're, we'll kind of go through and kind of look at what they're doing here, but they're look, literally using it as an awareness, but notice they're posting a lot of things from littlethings.com. So again, littlethings.com. So either right off the bat, we know either littlethings.com is, is either the website that kind of sponsors this or owns it, or they made some sort of a deal. Like Dog Lovers International maybe either made a deal from Little Things, or maybe they own it, or they're friends, or whatever it is, because they're posting a lot of content there, littlethings.com. So again, they're using this as they built a large, so right off the bat, we can see they built a large fan page to draw a lot of attention to this littlethings.com um, to be able to build this out. So you start to see a lot of blog posts. That's really what this is. And it's getting a lot of traction. Now, these are all today. Okay, now here's another one, Honest to Pause. And so look, there's just a lot of activity here, Honest to Pause. And so you can kind of learn to kind of see, okay, um, how uh, here's an animal rescue, blogs.animalrescue site, honest to pause. So you start to see, okay, they're posting a lot of stuff here. And so you kind of look about this. Now, they also have a Shop Now link. That's another thing worth kind of glancing at. Shop to feed shelter animals. You can see all kinds of stuff that they have here. Um, you know, they've got basically, it looks like they're using a greater good site. When you click this, you can see greater good in the URL. So they've built a greater good site to kind of raise awareness. Instead of Shopify, they're using Greater Good, and you kind of learn a little bit about it. So it's just the very first page we, we looked at. They've got a big fan page, a lot of, um, they've got a big fan page with a lot of fans, okay, four million fans. They've also obviously built this thing up. Um, they're obviously promoting um, their blog posts. They're getting traffic to blogs, and they're selling stuff. So here's, here's a page. Now you can also kind of get an idea for how to build it. So let's just go to the next one. Okay, here's another big page, okay. This one right here, they got uh, digitalf5.com as a website, um, 779,000. Um, they got a lot of pictures. They've got reviews that people are, are posting here. Um, you know, click here to participate. Um, this, your dog could be parts, your dog could be featured in a calendar. Um, so they're kind of doing some stuff there. Again, um, you know, your, your dog could be featured in the calendar. So they're really promoting this pet calendar uh, promotion right here. Um, so we can go ahead and click on it and kind of see what they're promoting. So what I'm doing is I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, but you can kind of see how other people are, um, what they're using their fan pages for. So you've got to get a good understanding of fan pages by reverse engineering. And that's really what I do is I go through and I find fan pages. Now, there's a lot. We're only showing you a few. For right now, they're really going into this pet calendar. You can scroll down. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, you know, your active participation can help you. So they've got this whole participation thing that they're really driving a lot of their traffic to, a lot of their attention to. And you see they got a lot of good engagement because they have a lot of fans. Okay, so you start to see, right? Essentially what you're doing is you start with something like a generic search in your niche, dog lovers, and like look at all of these, all of these stuff. Now what you're really looking to do is you're looking to get in here and try to find um, pages that you can model after, right? So let's like look at this one here, dog lovers with a dog's paw print. And you kind of look, again, generic. They got their, their little dog logo. They put their dog logo there. They got a couple pictures of dogs, 84,000. And then here we go, like, you know, um, they've got links in their videos. And so here they're going to a website, they're driving traffic, and they're driving traffic to um, controversial stories. There's a controversial story right there. So you can kind of look to see what people are doing. So they're uh, promoting their website, they're promoting tons of pictures, tons of memes. This gives you an idea of how to be able to structure a, a fan page. So this is really what you want to do. Get into your niche, and look, they're, they're bringing controversial videos. Man gets 99 years in jail for pit bull abuse. Um, and then here, a pit bull saves a woman. So what they're doing is they're really doing supportive stuff for dogs, and they're driving a lot of action there. So you start to learn about that. Now, let's go to another section. Let's go to pit bull lover. So now, instead of, um, instead of dog lovers, let's get a little bit more specific. Let's do pit bull lovers. And now you got a few more of these. Um, let's go through a couple of these really quick and show you. And this is how you start diving in a little bit these niches. Now, fine pages, 897 is not really as much to model after, but you want to model after some good pages. At least find something with thousands of likes and maybe go through a few of these. Okay, uh, we'll go through these. Now, we're just going to kind of browse through. We're going to kind of take a look at what they have. Again, generic picture, name. This one is all pit bull stories, pit bull lovers, and nothing else. So, they're really branding this niche of pit bulls. They've got pictures. Again, they've got memes. They've got cute pictures right here. 